Hey guys, welcome back to the Path to Medicine. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, and I'm sorry for that. I've just been really busy with my clinical rotations. But I'm going to try something new for this video, and that will hopefully allow me to pump out some videos faster. Uh, this is going to be USMLE Step 1 Buzzwords Part 1. And the reason that I'm doing this is because these videos are faster for me to make than the high yield images videos. I'll still be making those, but it takes some time to go through the research and fact check and those kind of things to make sure that I'm saying everything properly. Uh, but the buzzwords are also really relevant and I can make the videos faster and they'll also be useful for studying. So I'll definitely still be making the high yield images videos when I can, but I can definitely make some more of these um, faster. So I want to do that as well. So this is going to be the first one and hopefully you guys like it. I'll probably be making about five of these. So let's go ahead and get started. Basically what it's going to be is on the left is going to be the, the buzzword or buzzwords and on the right is going to be the term you should be associating it with. Uh, and, and in that way it's kind of like flashcards so you can kind of study instead of if you don't want to listen to me talk or something like that. So let's go ahead and get started. Negatively birefringent needle shaped crystals under polarized light. If you ever see that I want you to think about gout. And before I go on, obviously these videos aren't perfect and these bu buzzwords aren't perfect. You know, for some of the buzzwords, you can associate things, um, a lot of different things. But I'm just going off of what I, I've seen for the most part when they say these buzzwords, what they're usually trying to get at. It's not perfect, but it'll definitely get you probably about 90, 95% of the questions right when you see these buzzwords. So the next one, positively birefringent rhomboid or coffin shaped crystals under polarized light. I want you to think about pseudo gout. Definitely know the difference between how they'll talk about gout and pseudo gout. Elevated 5-HIAA, I want you to think about carcinoid syndrome. 22Q11.2, they'll be talking about a chromosomal deletion and that's gonna be in reference to George syndrome. Alpha fetoprotein, when you see that for the most part, um, they're gonna be pointing towards hepatocellular carcinoma. Acute angle branching hyphae, this is micro and this used to trip me up a lot. But if you see this, you definitely want to be thinking about aspergillus. Adenosine deaminase deficiency or ADA deficiency. They're going to be talking about SCID, severe combined immunodeficiency. Airborne transmission. So this is um, more micro and pathology. There's a lot of different bugs that can go in here. But the ones that I've seen the most common in questions are mycobacterium tuberculosis, roseola virus, and varicella. So definitely keep those three in mind. Anti-centromere antibody, obviously all the different types of antibodies are really important. Anti-centromere antibody, you want to be thinking about limited systemic sclerosis. So this is your crest syndrome. Anti-cyclic citrullinated polypeptide or anti-CCP autoantibody, that's a mouthful. But if you see anything like that, you want to be thinking about rheumatoid arthritis. Anti-desmosome antibody, you want to be thinking of pemphigus vulgaris. Anti-double-strand DNA antibody, you want to be thinking about lupus, SLE, systemic lupus erythematosus. Anti-gliadin antibody, that's going to be talking about celiac disease. Anti-glomerular basement membrane, or anti-GBM autoantibody, is going to be a buzzword for good pasture syndrome. Anti-hemidesmosome antibody is going to be talking about bullous pemphigoid, and don't get this confused with anti-desmosome antibody, which we just saw was for pemphigus vulgaris. Those used to trip me up a lot, so just try to keep them straight. Antihistone antibody is a buzzword for drug-induced lupus erythematosus. Anti-JO1 antibody is for polymyositis. Anti-LAW or anti-SSB antibody is for Sjogren's syndrome. Anti-microsomal antibody is going to be in reference to Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Anti-Rho or anti-SSA antibody is also Sjogren's syndrome. So you have SSA and SSB, or you have anti-Rho and anti-LA antibody. Anti-SCL70 antibody is for diffuse systemic sclerosis. So this is not Crest syndrome. Remember, Crest syndrome is only the limited systemic sclerosis. Anti-Smith antibody is going to be for lupus again. Anti-Smooth muscle antibody is going to be talking about autoimmune hepatitis. 
anti-thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin or anti-TSI antibody, they're usually pointing towards Graves' disease. And on the other hand, anti-thyroperoxidase or anti-TPO antibody is usually a sign for Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Anti-U1 RNP antibody, this one used to trip me up a lot. This is from mixed connective tissue disease. Apple green biofringence on Congo red stain. I can almost guarantee that this will come up somewhere on your test. If you ever see anything like this, you want to be thinking about amyloidosis. Apple core lesions is going to be pointing towards colorectal cancer. Ashkenazi Jews, there's obviously a, a couple different diseases that ha they have a higher prevalence for, but the main one that I've seen is Tay-Sachs disease. And then finally, ash leaf spots, if you ever see that, uh, that word or a picture of that is going to be talking about tuberous sclerosis. Uh, so that's the end of this video. Like I said, it'll be a lot quicker, uh, a lot easier for me to make and hopefully beneficial for you guys. And again, I know that these buzzwords aren't completely perfect. Some of them can be in reference to multiple things, but I'm just going off of my experience and what I've seen most commonly. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't, leave me a comment, some feedback, what you thought, and I will definitely be making more of these soon. So good luck studying.